All right, guys, as promised, and uh, <clears throat> it's taken me a while to get this organized, but uh, I've been wanting to do a better axe mask for my Grandmaster's Brooks axe. So uh, the one it comes with is kind of thin, and <clears throat> it's not it's not great, but it's functional. But I use this axe a lot, and I thought I'd make something a little bit nicer. I'm going to use the same style as this one. Uh, leather work is brand new to me. As far as making a sheath goes, I make a lot of pouches and things like that, but that's really simple stuff. This is a little more advanced, so, and I'm going to kind of be like scraping by to get this done because I really have no idea what I'm doing. So, um, this one's about a two or three millimeter, and this here is a five or six millimeter <coughs> veggie tan. All right, you see, I've got the guard here roughly cut out. <coughs> I'm going to trim it down a bit, obviously, but, uh, Actually, this leather cuts very easy when you've got a sharp knife to do the work. But there's where we're at. So the the fit to the blade to the edges is pretty good. And I'm going to even this up a little bit, and then we'll get started on the uh, the actual mask itself. All right. Well, here's going to be the front, and here is the the inside guard. Of course, it all looks rough now, but after some sanding, when it's all sewed in, it'll it'll clean up good. But uh, here's where we're at. Let's see how the axe will go right in there and snap right into place. <coughs> and uh, of course, there'll be a lot of trimming here, of course. But uh, <coughs> there we go. But that's where we're at at the moment. So hang tight. All right. Well, I've got it worked over, got it all cut, got the general shape of the mask at the moment worked out. Of course, there'll be some contouring, uh, you know, when I'm done. But what I'm going to do now is start drilling the holes for uh, sinew threads. So, get back with you. All right. Well, I drilled all the holes, and uh, it's definitely not perfect. Uh, it looks pretty good here not quite as good here but that's expected since I don't have a drill press so but it's actually not that bad all right folks uh, got the front end sewed all done and get it under the camera here yeah it's not too close hopefully none of it's blurry but there's where we're at at the moment and I'm just kind of uh, tracing out the uh, the strap right now I'm gonna cut that off and get that situated in the right spot and I'm going to trim this up a little bit and then I'm going to attach this and then I'm gonna have my go with the snaps so uh, not too bad it's not perfectly even but it don't look too bad and as soon as I get the sandpaper out and I start working this I'll get it nice and even across the front and smooth and uh, not looking too bad so hang out well I've rounded off the, uh, the back side of the mask and now I've got this sewed on pretty well. <clears throat> I went about double thick on the back strap. Uh, might as well given the amount of material I have to work with so uh, we'll grab the axe. I kept it a little bit loose here so when I when I bring the axe head in it doesn't cut the top of this and just bore its way through which happened to this one because it was just a little too tight and I ended up cutting through the near to the top and ended up having to put an extra piece of leather in there to stop that so won't have that problem now so when it brings it down though should be should be nice and snug and probably put my snap right about there and it'll be a uh, in my opinion a much nicer sheath so okay well uh, for the most part the project is done um, First time using these, so it was a little tricky. I left it a little tight, so I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit, and then I'm going to run this on some sandpaper and get the edges all waxed up, and then put in some of my uh, special leather treatment that I've made and get it soaked in, and then I'll take some final stills at the end. Uh, a few steps during the project, I took in stills instead of video, so wait for the end of that to check it out, and um, there it is for the most part. Uh, much higher quality sheath than the one that's provided, probably last well I'm banking it'll last longer but who knows and uh, much thicker and sturdier so 
Just finishing off all the edges with the <clears throat> this leather and steel paste that I've made. I actually got this recipe off uh, off YouTube itself. Blacksmith recipe for treating their leathers and keeping their steel from rusting. And uh, maybe I'll put it in the description too because I'm sure somebody will ask. So. Get it rubbed in all the edges. <clears throat> you see how it darkens it up. For those of you watching who might have a question, uh, my Cooksa project, I'd like to get to it this week. Uh, if anybody noticed, mine was kind of thick, so took a lot of extra time to dry and uh, I think it's right about there to start sanding and I think I might work on that tomorrow because I got done with this a lot faster than I thought I would I'll tell you what though after doing this tonight I got a newfound respect for people who do leather uh, and their prices are justified for the amount of work that has to go in so <laughs> I just like to throw that out there um, there we go. Well, I'm going to keep rubbing it in until the paste disappears and then uh, we'll get some real good stills. Thank mm -hmm. you. 